Last year, I... Yeah. We're good! Hey, welcome. Hey. hey, welcome everyone! It's Monday and that means it's time for our weekly TWTW Live Hangouts. And we're super excited to co-host this hangout that stands for the will to win together with our dear friend and business partner Kim Justice coming from Chicago, Illinois and we ourselves <laughs> are not from the, from the United States we are Dirk and Muriel all the way all the way from the Netherlands, the Netherlands. <laughs> and that's a very small country in Holland and um, well that, that's a small country in Europe I mean and uh, we're super excited because we have great value for you right on tonight because you can see down here you see a, a panel waiting for you that is going to share with you how they are able to well actually we're going to talk about how they can how you can turn your passion into profit right. and 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 yeah basically is that is that it is and and how you can well, grow yourself online. But I think before we go on and introduce Kim and give the word to Kim, is a little bit about ourselves. Um, as we said, we are a family from uh, the Netherlands, and uh, we had a passion, we had a dream. We traveled the world for a long, long time, and then well, we started a family, and we have a, a five-year-old and a ten-year-old, and then suddenly. Years later, you find yourself in a 9 to 5 situation. Uh, I was personally working 70 hours a week and was not getting to see my kids growing up. So we made a decision uh, to go back to our dreams and to get back to, to, to our passions. And well, we searched for ways to, to transform that into a, a profitable business. So, yeah. So there we were on the internet and um, we found out we were not the only ones because there are loads of people doing this and um, well a few of them are with us tonight and they are about to share exactly how they were able you know there are people very different people there there's a mom it's Amy she she's a single mom we will tell she will tell a lot of great things that she's doing she's 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 a great personality she's she she, she made her how do you say that um, Definitely made a mark in the industry. Made a mark on the industry. An authority yeah. of, uh, on this subject that is well yeah. to be said, yes. Well, we have an artist. It's Pavel Vasilik. He's from California. No, yeah, no, you're from San Francisco. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you're an artist and doing your, what you love while you are um, make your profits on the internet. And, well, we have Tiffany from the United States as well and she has her own story as well she has her own business using the system that we all work with also doing what she loves and then we have Todd and he is from a very warm nice tropical island <laughs> <laughs> and also had a great story to share with you all about what you are about to learn here so I think that was just a short introduction we have to go back bounce it back to Kim Justice and please share everything you want to share about you, your amazing friend of us, and uh, proudly co-hosting this with you. So go on, Kim. <laughs> Take the <your> word. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mariel. Um, yeah, so guys, my name is Kim Justice. I'm the ProFit blogger, and my passion is fitness, traveling, and I've been able to basically use fitness and traveling as a vehicle to connect with people that are also in love with fitness and traveling and be able to help them on how to create an online business and how to basically cash in their passion. So I'm really excited about today's panel because these um, guest speakers are the epitome of turning their passion into profits and how they've been able to really do what they love on an everyday basis. And so we're so excited to have this guest panel. We have all walks of life here. We all started with no prior experience online, no prior experience with marketing or affiliate marketing or um, being able to blog. We didn't even know what a blog was <laughs> at some point in our journey. So. 
um, this is really a uh, journey for you as a viewer to start learning about how you can profit from what you love doing on an uh, everyday basis. So I'm going to hand it back to Muriel. She's going to introduce our first guest speaker who is uh, one of our top authorities on this subject and she actually does trainings um, for us on this subject. So uh, take it away Muriel. Well thank you Kim. Well hi Amy. I'm very proud. That, oh yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Very proud that I'm uh, I'm able to introduce you. We met in uh, in Vegas uh, the the last entrepreneurial event, and um, I think you're a great personality. I admire your hard work and all your trainings you provide for a system. And um, I love what I love to um, what I want to share with everybody who's watching is. Can you share something about you? Because we know you're a single mom and you already came from from the online marketing world. But something happened after you started to blog about what your passion is about, your CrossFit, and how that created uh, and the income that you're earning right now and that has changed your life so incredibly. That was quite a long question, <laughs> I hope you can make your great answer with it. <laughs> was that a question? <laughs> yeah, well, it was actually. No, I, think, I think I meant to ask is that you're one hell of a uh, blogging guru, is that way? And as I remember correctly, you you accidentally started a CrossFit uh, blog because I think you were an impression that there were more blogs, and you you ended up with a with a topic of CrossFit. And as far as I know you, is, is that CrossFit is really, really your passion. I mean, we cannot deny that. I mean, I always see these great posts coming by from uh, about CrossFit. And but I think the question was, was how were you able to, to turn this, or how did it work? Did, did actually, you had a blog about CrossFit accidentally, but you, you chose to stick with it, and how you could turn that passion, actually, into a profitable profit. <laughs> Awesome. Does that make sense? This is yes, absolutely. This is one of my. <laughs> this is our Dutch translation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is one of my favorite topics to talk about because, um, you know, what I've seen. Um, I've been on the internet now for, I guess. I want to say like nine years, and um, my older daughter just turned ten. I haven't worked at a job since my older daughter was born in 10 years. So that's all because of um, basically because of blogging and being able to you know work from home on the internet. And so I've been blogging for quite a while and I always had it in my mind that in order to make money with a blog that I had to blog about something that had to do with making money like my business. Um, blog, I've been blogging about internet marketing for a long time which is a passion of mine so that's been been amazing and has has paid really paid me really well for you know just kind of blogging about my journey and inter internet marketing. I started out um, just before I get into the CrossFit thing. I'll just say that I started out with the internet marketing blog. Basically, I didn't know anything about internet marketing, and I got online. And every time I would learn a skill, I would make a video to teach what I just learned. And basically, people started to follow me because. You know, there's a lot of people out there that don't, you know, they don't know that skill yet. And I think a, a pitfall that a lot of people have is that they, they're afraid to share their, like, little successes because they, they think it's no big deal when actually there's a lot of people out there that would rather follow somebody that's just getting started and kind of follow on your coattails. You're like, oh, she just got her first lead on the Internet. I want to follow her and see what she's doing. And then the next day I'd say, you know, I just, you know, had, you know, I just figured out how to put a link in Aweber, like really simple stuff, which now seems like simple stuff, but at the time it was a big, you know, victory for me. And so I just blogged about my journey as I went. And over time, people just continued to follow me, and over time I continued to have more and more success. And um, and so that's what I've been doing. I am a single mother. I have um, a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old. And, you know, it's been just a godsend for me to be able to work on the Internet and blog about things that I love 
and to be able to make money as I learn. You know, I didn't start blogging about internet marketing because I was an internet marketing expert. I started blogging about it because it was something that I was learning about, and something that I wanted to learn more about. And, you know, I've become more and more of an expert. I'm still not an expert, but, you know, the, the nice thing about internet marketing is you don't have to be an expert to make money, right? So, um, so recently I started another blog and I decided I wanted to start blogging about CrossFit because CrossFit is one of my other really, really big passions in life. And I wanted to, it was kind of an experiment. I know Dirk, you said it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. I mean, I, I set the blog up, right? It didn't just like fall out of the sky by accident, but, um, no, no, it... <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was really kind of an experimental thing to see what would happen if <clears throat> I would simply blog about something that I'm passionate about that has nothing to do with making money, right? There's, there's nothing to do with making, you know, I'm not promoting anything about CrossFit. I'm not like selling CrossFit equipment or I'm not, you know, that, that's not what it's about. I'm just blogging about it. So really I wanted to see what would happen if I would start blogging every day about something that was just really, really near and dear to my heart. It didn't have anything to do with making money. And what's been happening since I started doing this is nothing short of miraculous. Um, you know, what I found is that, you know, things don't always look the way you think they're going to look, right? Like, and I didn't really have an expectation when I started blogging about CrossFit. I just decided that I was going to start blogging every day for a year just to see what would happen. I was inspired by the movie Julie and Julia. If you guys haven't seen that, it's an amazing movie um, about a woman who blogs every day about cooking. So I decided I'm going to do, you know, and all this amazing stuff happens. And, you know, she ends up getting, like, asked to be, like, on the New York Times. Like, she, they, you know, wanted to make a movie about her, all this stuff. And so I was just like, you know, I'm just going to blog every day and see what happens. And it's been amazing because what's been happening is um, not only have I been having success, you know, financially, I've been getting leads and sales and lots of traffic for my business, which didn't come instantaneously. I mean, it took, you know, being consistent every day for like, after about 40 days of blogging every day is when I really started to notice the traffic gaining traction and seeing, you know, re real results starting to happen. But in addition to, to the results that I'm getting from my blog, I've been asked to come on Hangouts like this. I've been, um, it, you know, asked to share the spotlight with industry leaders on stages and webcasts. And I've now I'm getting contacted by people in the CrossFit industry. Oh, God, my, my neighbor just took out his chainsaw or something. Sorry. I have my window <laughs> open. I can see <laughs> it gets too loud. <laughs> oh. It's just we're all real people, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it's like, you know, when you're when you choose in favor of your passions, I guess this is the point I'm trying to make. When you choose in favor of your passions, um, doors just open up in ways that you might not even be able to predict or expect, and that's what's kind of happening now. And so, like next month, I'm going to another event. To um, I'm going to be speaking on more stages. Is basically what it, what it's coming down to about you know, what really happens when you really stay true to your passion and don't feel like you have to do, choose in favor of something that seems like it might be the more lucrative option, you know, it might be a way to make money because it is really true that when you're, when you really tap into your passion and you follow that, that um, all kinds of amazing things can happen. And so um, this little CrossFit blogging experiment has turned out to be like completely life-changing for me. So, did I answer your question in any way, shape, or form? I don't know. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That was an amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. I have I have one question that I would like to uh, you to answer for the people who never did blog before because you are quite an advanced blogger, and um, can you share some tips for people who never blogged before and how to overcome their fear of blogging because we know people can have fear about blogging, so please share some tips. For yeah. Those well, my main I gotta shut this window. This is really sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little better. I don't know if it's a lot better, but um, 
So the main thing that I would say is to be authentic, be yourself. Um, a lot of people get online and they feel like they, they compare themselves to other people that are already having success and they feel like they have to act like them or they have to even copy and paste their emails or, or their stuff. I even have some, and there's some really weird thing going on on the internet right now where there's some kind of platform where people can, where you don't have to create your own content. You just post other people's content and somebody's posting my blog stuff on their thing like every day. It's like, why don't you write your own blog post? I, I mean, anyway, I mean, I guess I, sh I should be flattered, right? But it's just really <laughs> weird. I don't agree with the stuff that happens on the internet where people come along and say, you don't have to do anything except, you know, we're going to do everything for you. We guarantee you'll make money and all you do is copy and paste everything and you don't have mm -hmm. to really learn anything. I don't agree with that. I feel like people want to know you. You have a voice that needs to be heard. You have a voice that people want to hear. And I don't care what niche you're, you're blogging in. I don't care how many other people are blogging in that niche. I don't care how many books have been written about that niche or whatever. Um, none of them have been written by you. There's not another blog that's by you. And so, you know, when I first got online, one of the things that came up for me was, well, you know, why would anyone want to connect with me or join me or buy what I'm selling or join my business or whatever when they could join this person over here who's so much more successful than I am? And the answer is because that person over there is not me. And some people, you know, some people will connect to you in a way that they're not going to connect to somebody else. And like mm -hmm. I said earlier, sometimes people are going to connect to you because you're new, you're just getting started. They're going to be able to re relate to that better. You just got your first lead on the internet and you're making a video about that. You know, something like that as opposed to, I'm making $100,000 a month. A lot of people can't even connect to that. So don't try to compare yourself to the success that other people are having or try to be like somebody else. Um, you know, just really be yourself. And, you know, one of the things that has helped me and has basically is, is um, the reason, you know, for, for all of the success that I've had, what I've done since the beginning, like I just mentioned before, is I've just blogged about my journey. I'm doing that with CrossFit now. I just went through a five-week uh, long CrossFit competition, and I blogged about that. I almost died a couple times. I thought I was going to die. I was like dry heaving in the gym. I blogged about it. People like that kind of stuff, you know. Um, if you're in the weight loss industry, you'll notice a lot of people will do like a 90-day challenge and they'll blog about each day they'll take a picture of themselves or whatever or just blog about how much it sucked today or whatever. Like that's what Julie and Julia, that movie was about. She blogged every day. She, she cooked a new recipe every day and blogged about it. And sometimes stuff was blowing up in her oven. And she was mm -hmm. blogging about it and people started following her. And so don't ever feel like your small success is too small to share no matter what niche you're in that's the kind of stuff that people can relate to and they want to see that you're a real person. I am not a CrossFit, like I am not nearly as hardcore as most people that love CrossFit. First of all, I'm like twice as old as most of the people that do CrossFit. <laughs> and you know, I've had surgeries and I, you know, I have physical limitations that some of these like real CrossFit badasses don't have. So that's that's not who I am, but I'm just real, you know, like I just blog about like what comes up for me and how I leave the gym crying sometimes and I blog about that. You know, whatever it is, just share yourself. And that I guess would be my biggest tip is just be just be completely authentic and vulnerable and transparent. That's a great thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Kim um, Kim, do you have uh, something for Amy to ask? Yeah, Amy, so Thank you for sharing your story, and I am I love your blog because I'm from the fitness industry. So it, it, as soon as you started, uh, I think you started back in December, right? Yeah, end of November. End of November, yeah. So um, yeah, I I love your blog, and I actually since I work with a lot of people in the fitness industry, I send them to your blog to get to have an idea that hey guys, like this is a great way to basically cash in your passion because as a fitness expert it's all about consistency when it comes to you know blogging about your passion and literally you're the epitome of consistency it like this isn't something where you just do 
maybe a couple of times a week. You literally blog every single day because you've known that that is what generates results. That, that is what gets you out there ranking on Google and getting a lot of traffic to your website. So thanks for sharing that. And and just have a question. So a lot of people are listening to your story and are like, okay, so you're blogging every day about CrossFit. How are you making money? I know that's a really big question for people mm -hmm. that are starting or wanting to start an online business in order to have more time for their passion, in order to do what they love every single day. So if you can a answer that for the newbie who's like, how does she even make money? Uh, that would be great. Yeah, so, um, you know, no matter what niche you're blogging in, there's always a way to take whatever your content is and bridge it into whatever your source of income might, you know, to be able to share that with people. Now, for me, it's really easy because the way that I'm, the, the system that I use to make money online includes a blogging platform. <laughs> so when I when I blog, at the end of my blog post, I just say, would you like to learn how to get paid to blog about your passions? CrossFit is my passion. What are yours? Click here to learn how to get paid to blog about them. And when they click there, it takes them to a place where they can learn more about my business, which one of the, one of the pieces of it is that they, they get to have a blog. So it's really easy for me to, br to bridge into that at the end of every one of my posts. And I also have banners on the on my um, sidebar and my footer, you know, that basically say like, stop doing what you hate and start doing what you love. And it just has a picture of people doing CrossFit. So it's congruent with my blog, but when they click on it again, it takes them and says like, you know, I have a video of me saying like, you know, I'm a single mom and I get to work from home from the internet if you want to learn more. You know what I mean? Like they, then they can go um, leave their email address and get more information about my business. So it's actually really, really easy. I think people make it out to be some big, complicated thing. It's actually super easy. And um, so that would be my other tip. Don't overcomplicate things. It doesn't, <laughs> this is not rocket science. So the answer to your question is just bridging it, bridging it from whatever you're talking about to whatever it is that you um, can, you know, if you, if you don't have a business, you can use your blog to monetize in other ways. Like if you're, you know, say golf is your niche, you can become an affiliate program for different golf clubs, I'm sure. Everything has an affiliate program now. So you know what I mean? Like you can sell anything from your blog. So you can have golf clubs on your on your sidebar and make an income from that. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's really easy to monetize a blog. But, you know, with the system that I use and that we use, um, a blog comes with it. So it's really... a it's really no matter what niche you blog in it's a really really easy thing to be able to bridge into and say hey how would you like to learn to make money blogging about what you love so, right yeah. right and that same system is available if you guys click the link below um, it will take you to that system that will teach you how what Amy is talking about that she was able to learn and as she was learning she was blogging about what she was learning and, and then she was able to bridge that into um, her business and the system teaches you that and then another thing is she not only was talking about what she was learning in internet marketing or how to blog but she was also able to then learn the, use those skills to start blogging about CrossFit and then be able to bridge CrossFit into um, how to start a blog and how to learn about blogging for your passion and so that's what the system um, that we all use um, as far as like as a community that's something that you can learn too so um, but thank you Amy I really appreciate you sharing your story um, I'm a huge fan of you and it was exciting to meet you in person um, at our last event in Las Vegas, uh, sitting on the bus. It was so random <laughs> from the airport to the hotel. Um, but it was awesome uh, to meet you back then and to finally have you on our uh, one of our guest speakers on, as a panel. So um, I, will you be in Nashville? I, of course. Yep. <laughs> We're going to see you in Nashville then. Yeah. <laughs> a couple I'll more weeks. There. Couple yeah, more weeks. Yeah, That's where breakthroughs out. happen. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, anything? Me. What's that, Amy? Thank you for having me. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add, or any other tips? 
before we move on to the next speaker? Um, no, just that, you know, like, like I said, I, I just want to say, I guess I'll just say, you know, I've had people contact me and say, I don't believe this, this has got to be some kind of a scam. And my answer is always, I'm a single mom with two kids who, income disclaimer, your results may vary, but I've been able to earn a six-figure income from home working on the internet. This, this has completely transform, transformed my life and my kids' lives because I used to have to say no to everything that they wanted to do, whether it was guitar lessons, soccer, anything. We didn't have the money, and I was working way harder than I work now. So if this was a scam, that would not be the case. You know, so <laughs> I'm just saying, like, this is the real deal, and I cannot be more grateful for this opportunity. So that's it. Awesome, Amy. Oh, Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Um, so I'm going to pass the torch over to Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany is uh, one of my neighbors over in uh, Canada, actually. I used to live not too far away from her. Um, mm -hmm. Tiffany is someone that I met actually in October in Orlando at one of our events, and she has inspired me in more ways than one because she showed me that not only can we profit or really benefit from our online system, from our trainings, from the resources that we have in the system in our online businesses, but we can also benefit from everything into a brick and mortar business. And she's going to come out and share her story on how she's been able to do that. And um, Tiffany, thank you so much for being on the panel. Uh, if you can just tell us a little bit about your story and how uh, this system, how our community, how the events have really transformed your life and be able to take your brick and mortar business to the next level with uh, online training or with blogging and online marketing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you guys can hear me okay? Yep. Um, yep. Thanks for having me. Super exciting and uh, nice to meet you, Dirk and Muriel, and nice to see you again, Kim, and everyone else on the panel. And yeah, in Canada, so it's nice that you have your window open, Amy, but we can't do that here yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's getting there, it's getting there. And yeah, you know, Bernie's, uh, Bernie and I are the traveling dogs, that's kind of how we brand ourselves, and we have an online business as well as a brick and mortar business. So basically we're dog trainers, we own a raw dog food company, so we do work um, out of our home, and we've been self-employed for, well, I've been self-employed for over 10 years. and We've been able to, I don't know where to start, I get all, I get all mixed up, there's so many things to share, but yeah, we've, we've been able to use the system basically for two things. So one, it's really taught us how to market our, our dog trading business and our uh, new raw food business and reaching, you know, blogging about it, reaching through ads, just everything. We've learned so much on how to market this business and have success. But it's also taught us on our online business, so it gives us more of what our real passion is, is traveling. So, you know, working online is not our passion. Our passion is traveling, working with street dogs, spending more time with our family, doing whatever it is that we want to do whenever we want to do. But to allow that, we needed an online business. So it really goes hand in hand. You know, and, and sometimes we get a lot of people that we meet and they're like, oh, you know, that online thing's not for me. And I'm thinking... Like, how can it not be for you? I get to do what I want whenever it is I want to do it. I can work from my laptop from a beach, from the mountains, like wherever there's Wi-Fi, right? So it sort of boggles my mind. I think people do have this fear, this denial that the Internet's, like, you know, growing. And there's tons of people doing this now. And just think in five and ten years, like, the Internet's not going anywhere. It's only going to be growing. And it's such a great way to leverage your business in so many ways. And, you know, I love how Amy was touching on just being real and that resonates with me so well. I've never really been a very shy person. I would have always sort of been comfortable with saying what I think and whatever. But people, you're right, you attract the people that want to come to you and that's kind of the beauty of having your own business because you don't have to sell someone else or say what someone else tells you to say or do what someone else tells you to do. You get to do whatever the hell you want and if people don't like it, well that's fine, right? Like people that come and stick around are, are what you want and that whole real life and the bloopers you know, often when you're watching YouTube, it's the bloopers that get more hits than, <laughs> than the boring stuff anyways, the videos, right? So it's so important to be real and, and transparent and, and share your life with everyone. There's a million, million ways to, to make money. And the system that we use, it just really, you can take whatever your passion is, whether it's sewing or shoes or, 
you know, traveling like we do uh, dog stuff, and you can blog about it. And you can do more of it because you've got more time. And I just I just love that. I love that. And, and meeting people. So we sort of, you know, they always say who you surround yourself with and is really important. And just it's kind of amazing to meet all these people from around the world that you can connect with nowadays. And, again, this makes it so easy to do so. And learning, learning from them and being around them and, you know, you create this new sort of circle of friends that you don't see that often or, you know, we see you guys at events four, five, six times a year, but it's crazy how close and, and how much it brings you up and how much you, you have that more belief in yourself and you learn things from people and how, you know, you have all these common threads and even though we all do very different things, the common thread is working online and it gives us that more freedom. It makes us all happier, right? You're sort of more open-minded and looking for more opportunities and I just, I just love that. Um, does that kind of answer? I know that was sort of all over the place. I don't even know if I talked about it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Tiffany. Um, what we were talking about, you and I, um, we did actually an interview session, I think two months ago about, and um, at the time, you had just launched, it was back in January, you guys had just launched your raw food um, product, and you actually had to stop marketing right because you couldn't keep up with the demand right and that's yeah, we couldn't grind enough enough meat so <laughs> you know, I've, I've opened a lot of businesses Bernie and I do a lot of things and with the dog training I didn't have this background at the time so when I started my dog training business five years ago it was very word of mouth and it was a very slow process to get where we are today with it and Luckily, we've got, you know, sort of the drive. I've learned to have more patience, and we really took the time because it was something we wanted to do, and it was a slow process, and it still is today. You know, dog training is a, a strange industry, so it took us a really long time to get the word out, and it was like me going out and handing out five business cards a day. I wouldn't go home until I handed out five business cards a day to random people, and that takes a lot to put yourself out there, too, because not everyone with dogs wants help and wants to talk. So with since we've been a part of this uh, new system, this was kind of our first official, besides our online business, this was our first official launch of a new brick and mortar product, right? So we have this product that we sell, which is the raw dog food. So it was the first time that we'd actually launched a business with now having all this help. So we've been um, part of this for about two years now. And it felt, we were so calm, it was such a smooth transition. We knew how to market, who to reach out to, steps to build our website, like everything just came together so quickly and I said to Bernie, like, this is this is going really smooth, like something just doesn't seem right and I was kind of still in a little bit of denial about how this was happening and Bernie's like, oh, it's because we know what we're doing now and I'm like, yeah dude, but like, really, like it's this easy and we launched our business, we have like a lot of new clients, within three months we probably have 60 clients and again with our product, it's, they, they eat it and they come back, right, it's consumable, so it's, a, it's an ideal business for that but um, we had to we had to stop pull all of our ads off that we were doing uh, mainly on Facebook. That's what we use because we didn't have any more product to sell. We couldn't grind any more meat to feed the dogs, and we we're like we were getting phone calls and phone calls, and it was awesome. And it's fine to say you know what, no, we can't deliver anymore. You're too slow this week. Put it in order on Monday, and we'll get it out to you on Friday, right? But just you know the knowledge that we've had and what we've learned from this, and all the you know the personal development, the books that I believe strongly in reading every day. In, in well audiobooks because I don't like to read much but audiobooks are a good thing and just all of that like it was just such an easy transition and I couldn't believe how much quicker our our business there and then once that started to grow you know that belief came back too and we just started up our online again because we kind of do that on and off we're more because we're in Canada we more travel in the winter and do that in the winter we're in the summer we're very busy with training and we love we love what we do we love the dog world so we're, our ideal situation for hopefully next year our goal is to be out of Canada for three or four months in the winter to traveling somewhere warm, working with the street dogs and doing what we do there, and then coming back and spending the summers in Canada because it is beautiful here and we love the area that we live in, and then that's when our, busy, our business is busiest here too. So we're kind of getting the best of both worlds, and it's easy to come and go. You know, We can keep the momentum going through our, our online business as well, and then we just kind of start to boost that up so that we can enable that, but we can still run our businesses home. So you know, we've been marketing all winter for training sessions and we just had two sold out classes for that too so it's it really goes hand in hand with ever whatever your passion is and you know we're not forcing you to work online but again why wouldn't you want to it just it opens up so many other doors for you right if you're not online 
then you're not really existing in your business either way. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's such a great example of, you know, if you want to have still your brick and mortar business be a part of you, like, you know, for me, I owned a gym and um, in order to be a gym owner, I had to be there 24 seven and it just wasn't the lifestyle I wanted to live. So I wanted to segue into more online marketing and it was just literally a matter of learning and implementing. That's the biggest thing. Like what I know about Amy, what I know about Tiffany, what I know about this entire uh, panel is that not only did we had all the tools necessary, we had all the education, we had everything necessary in order to have, you know, that multiple um, or like mm -hmm. multiple revenue streams online. Um, however, like it's a matter of implementing and every single one of these guest speakers implement. So they learned and implemented, learned and implemented. So that was the biggest thing. So Tiffany, you're the epitome of it. Amy, you are too. Everyone on here. That's why we do this, guys, is that, you know, by going to the system and clicking the link below, you're being introduced to the exact tools that we have in order to create a successful online business and it's you not only get the tools but you get the personal development too I mean we have these uh, what's called inner circle audios that help us you know really strengthen our mind and if you guys missed our um, hangout last week we really talked about personal development and how that's created wealth in our lives um, so Tiffany thank you so much for sharing your story and um, you know you really highlighted how people you know they can still use online marketing to help them with their brick and mortar business as well as be able to you know have that dream of maybe traveling during the summer or the winter time so that's really cool thank you for sharing that yeah no worries and I just wanted to add one more thing to this really just brought everything home last week I was helping a girlfriend who owns a dog grooming business and she's been really busy so sometimes I help her out like around Christmas so I went in and I worked an eight and a half hour shift helping her all day long and I don't know like good for her she loves what she does she's happy so that's totally fine I came home I haven't worked an eight and a half hour day like physically doing physical things and I don't know how long and I got home and I was like why in the heck and again she loves what she does so this isn't a, a dig at her but why in the heck would someone want to go out and work these long days Driving back and forth adds another hour onto that when you can have what it is that you want with still a lot of effort. Like, this isn't always easy, but learning makes you stronger. It's part of the fun, right? But I'm like, I don't know how she does it. Five days a week works over an eight hour day. I was like, my mind was boggled. <laughs> so there are other things out there. And, and she could easily change some stuff onto online. I mean, again, she loves what she does, and that's totally fine. We need people out there to groom our dogs and, and whatever. We need people to service groceries. We need people at restaurants, right? We need the world to, to go around. but. For me, I was just like, wow, I don't think it's a lazy thing. I just love to enjoy life. And, you know, I, I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was 12. So, I mean, you can live a long time with diabetes, but I'm not going to spend it all taking care of my disease and working eight hours a day to not be able to enjoy my life. And that was something at a young age I, I wanted to do, right? But then I was sort of labeled as lazy. So it took me a while. To, no, no, I can do what I want. I just have to, have to prove that, right? And this system's allowed me, again, to just be able to figure out how to legitimately run a business and, and, and work less and do more of whatever it is I want to do. It can be right. anything. Right. You're not so, yeah. lazy. You're efficient. You're very efficient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, that was, a, that was a long day. I know. Yeah. People can keep themselves busy and then make, like, feel like they fulfilled something in an eight-hour day, but really, did you accomplish much? You can probably accomplish what uh, a lot of people can't in like a two hour time than people take in an eight hour time because they're you know filling their day with busy work so you I mean that's what what's great about um, some of these inner circles they teach you how to uh, really focus and to simplify your life to be more productive kinda like the Tim Ferriss way um, where he talks about productivity it's really cool some of the stuff that we've learned so alright uh, next I'm gonna pass it back over to my um, host Hostesses, host, hosts, <laughs> uh, Dirk and Muriel. 
They're gonna the host, the next hosting couple. <laughs> yeah, the dynamic duo. Yeah. yeah, so we became the dynamic duo. Hey, um, Bubble, welcome. It's awesome. Hey, you are from a completely different angle uh, working this. Um, you're an artist. I, uh, I saw you working live in uh, Orlando, and uh, that was one awesome job. I actually was already, you don't know that, of course, that, that is a beautiful thing of working online is that you don't, you never know who's following you or who is watching you. And then suddenly, boom, they come from an angle you didn't expect. But uh, I actually already was, I don't know, I bumped in one of your posts or somehow I was already watching you and then I saw you uh, and Orlando doing that live uh, piece of art and awesome. But I may I ask to, just to tell a little bit about yourself and what specific, how did, um, you know as an artist I can imagine that you, you are really passionate about your work and you want to focus on that, but if I see other artists or musicians um, being busy with their with their passion, there's almost never time for their passion because they have to work lousy jobs, working in bars and stuff like that to, I don't know, to provide for the, the, the rent and the bills. And there's not so much time left for, for creating. And uh, how did branding yourself and marketing yourself online well, changed your life, and I think it enables you now to be full-time artist as well. Uh, well, first of all, I want to say thank you for uh, inviting me on here. I really appreciate it. And um, you know, the way I got into this industry was <laughs> really s different from a lot of the way that a lot of other people got into the industry because I really had no experience in it at all. And when I got in. Uh, I was actually in the military, this was about like seven years ago, and I shattered my elbow, I had a huge accident, so I ended up um, staying home, I was in bed rest for like six or seven months, so I was like, I gotta do something, because I'm, I'm bored, and like video games and movies is just not enough, like I, I can't be doing that, so I hopped on the computer, I started like uh, looking at ways to be productive, and I ran into uh, like, this was a long time ago, so I ran into some uh, system, and I started using that. And somehow I made money, and I was like, okay, so th this is, like, real. I could do this. Um, so over the years, I was kind of on and off with it. I wasn't really serious. So fast forward to, like, to 2012 was when I came across this system. And the reason I joined it was because as an artist, I understand that I understood really early on that it's really hard to get a job. It's, hard, it's very competitive. And the main focus of being an artist is to have people see your stuff because you can have the most amazing artwork in the world and if no one sees it, what's the point, right? Be it music or art or whatever it is. So I really looked at all these people, all these marketers, all these online marketers and I saw them, I saw what they were doing. They knew how to drive traffic. They knew how to build, you know, massive followings and I just wanted to know, I knew if I could just learn from them, if I could somehow get connected with them and apply it to my artwork, uh, I would like I would be really happy and that's exactly what I started doing so 2012 I found this system I started going through it um, and I made it you know kind of like a mission to really find out what they were doing so I invested everything I had into my education how to do this and as a result of that of going to events and like actually connecting so uh, events I feel like are the most powerful thing out there because you're connecting with like you know these people are real you see them and like when I first got to my first event in Seattle which was like last year I was really nervous so I, I got there I was like oh man oh god what am I doing here and then like I got really excited because I, I didn't know what, like I, I saw it it was real I was like oh my god I can't stop going to these it's like it like became like something like I had to go to every single event because I kind of had a breakthrough there. But as a result of the training and everything that you will go through when you click the button below, you'll see um, like I've been able to work with you know celebrities. I've been able to like get my artwork really out there. And right now I have really amazing relationships with MMA fighters, and um, you know I've done <laughs> children books and stuff like that. So like as a result of all of the all of these online marketing trainings, you actually. I mean, it's just incredible, and it's allowed me to have, like, a full-time income. It's allowed me to, you know, I just go to school, and I just draw pictures all day. I'll make a few videos, and I'll blog. I mean, come on. You know, so to me, it's just incredible. It's life-changing, and I also, um, what Amy was talking about earlier, um, you know, when people are, you know, copying each other, they're not really being themselves. They're not being authentic, 
And uh, that's kind of what I was doing for the for, for the for a long time. I didn't really realize that. Hey, you know, wait, hold on a second. I can just be myself, make a video, and connect with people. I could make a blog post about artwork and make money doing it. No brainer for me. That was just like, all right, I got to get in. Like, uh, failure was just not an option after this point. So, um, you know, as a, as a result of all of it, I've been going to events. I've gone on stage. I mean, literally, I don't know what I said on stage. That was my first time. I think I like blacked out. <laughs> it was like one of the most intense moments of my life, but uh, it was like five minutes maybe, but to me it seemed like it was like an eternity. I was like, oh God. <laughs> but like, you know, it's experiences like that, and it's like all these these amazing people that you meet at these events. Um, it's uh, it, it just, just get to events, okay, because like you never know who you're going to meet. You never know what you're going to learn, and you never know how far it'll take your passion, whether, you know, it's art or it's music or it's, you know, CrossFit, you know, movies, whatever, like blog about whatever, uh, you'll learn how to do it, you'll learn how to get to start driving traffic and just be happy what you're doing and actually make money doing it. Like the more you learn, the more you earn, right? Um, and I really believe in that and the more value you give back, the more people will come to you and, you know, the more, the, bit, the bigger the connection will be between you and others and, uh, I don't know. I just uh, that's pretty much. I don't know if that really answered anything, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. So uh, that, that's. Well, oh, I can feel the passion in it. So that's uh, definitely right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I mean that's so amazing, and then Pablo, like I've been watching um, your success because you celebrate um, other success, you celebrate your success, and um, just like Amy said and Tiffany said, you have to celebrate those small successes. You know, you've been doing that on Facebook, and I've been seeing just how your business has grown and how more, how much more time you're able to spend on your passion because artists are liter and musicians are literally the most passionate people that I've met. Like, that's why it's called Starving Artist, because you will literally <laughs> do anything um, or just as focus on your art. And so it's so nice to hear that you've been able to find success with our system because, you know, you're very passionate about your what you do, and you've found a vehicle to give you more freedom to do exactly what you love. And um, plus, online... Just like you said, like being able to reach globally about your art and also be able to bridge that into your online business to teach other artists, to teach other musicians, to teach other really passionate people about what they uh, love doing and being able to help them. So um, that's awesome, man. I'm so proud of you and uh, thank you so much for sharing your story and I'm excited to meet all of you guys um, in Nashville, because some of us haven't even, like, shook hands yet. I mean, <laughs> Tiffany, I've met Tiffany, I've met Amy, but, Pavel, like, I just saw you on stage, and you were a rock star on stage, man. That was so cool. And <laughs> yeah, I'm serious, I'm serious. I mean, here we have one, you know, our president of our company introducing Pavel to thousands of people, and I think at the time, Orlando was streaming live, so it was global, so it was more than thousands of people, and here you are just sharing what you love and sharing how you've, op your comeback story, and that's the biggest thing is that you're your own unique person. There are tons of artists out there, there's tons of musicians, there's tons of fitness professionals, there's tons of fitness enthusiasts, but what the um, theme is when you guys, um, when you as viewers look at our panel is we have a passion and we have found a vehicle to celebrate and be able to spend more time in our passion. So um, thank you so much for sharing your story and um, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to hand it over to our next guest speaker, Todd. And Todd... I've worked with him, and he is just an amazing, amazing uh, businessman, and he has been able to um, take his, take the, what he has learned in the system to be able to promote his own online business and be able to travel the world. Like, the thing about Todd is he loves summer, he loves beaches, he loves the warm climate, and he uh, with little or no internet connection has been able to um, travel the world, be able to 
um, really do a lot of great things online and just share his lifestyle and be able to help people do the same thing. So Todd, if you can um, share your story and kind of tell us a little about your business and then um, how online marketing has really just taken your business to a whole new level. Sure, yeah, thanks. Uh, can, can you... Oh. I can hear you. Probably, you hear probably bring the video down a little bit. <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you. Yeah, um, really, uh, being introduced to the online world really changed my life in so many ways. Um, the first thing was really is really the community. Uh, before I got involved with uh, working online, I had a brick and mortar store, and whatever I thought I knew about marketing, I was doing it wrong, <laughs> and really found out how much um, how how much how much market I was really missing. Um, I ended up uh, closing up my business and really getting into the the personal development side of what are the possibilities that are out there and I have uh, had family member um, a brother and um, family that's been doing the online business for years and it was one of those that it wasn't taboo but we really didn't talk about it I was never really pitched but I have reached a point in my life that if I really wanted to live the way that I wanted to I had to take my business mobile so I really just had to drop the ego and really just relearn what I thought I knew about marketing and what I what I what I was under the impression that society was telling me to be successful what I needed to do so dropping the ego and I started um, searching around looking uh, for good audiobooks other inspirational people and lo and behold the community attracted me and not only uh, I can uh, talk about the different resources that uh, that you uh, using the system and which in my opinion is bar none top-notch the education that you receive so that's how I really look at it it's an education to adapt your market to any industry in the world so prior to uh, starting to work online I was uh, I was actually landlocked for a brick and mortar store that I was trying to make something work without knowing how to make it work. Once the uh, market conditions changed, people started going online, I was pretty naive. So um, once I really uh, decided to, uh, that, well, once I found out that I could take my business anywhere, it was kind of a no, no brainer. You know, and joining uh, with the community. And just absorbing all the information, I found out that not only could I use it for my own business, but I could teach other people how to build their business and the mistakes I made so they were successful. So I guess it just comes, um, you know, a big circle and the community really is, uh, is what really drew me, uh, you know, drew me to the online business that, you know, everybody, everybody here everything they said it has come from the heart and just so inspirational to you know hear from everybody and it drives me on and uh, so uh, I ended up uh, packing up my bags and right now I'm on an island in the Caribbean and um, I'm going back to the states to uh, catch up with everybody for the event and then uh, coming back and then seeing where the world takes me from there so what are your plans? Where? What are your travel plans? I know you had uh, some big, big dreams when I was uh, talking to you last time. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm either going to. Um, well, I'm going to come back. We've kind of adapt adopted this um, uh, little island here off the coast of Panama as kind of a second home base to my, uh, um, to where my parents and the other half of my family live in Panama City Beach, Florida. But uh, I'm kind of making this kind of like a home base, and I'm getting either backpack maybe around Central America. I'm maybe taking off to Bali. Uh, I'm helping organizing uh, an event in Bali, which uh, which is kind of cool because I can go over to Bali, but 
if I decide that uh, there's something here that I I find that I want to explore here in South America, Central America, um, I can still I can still work and organize this event over in Bali whether I'm there or not, which is just another beautiful thing. So um, really, I don't have any plans uh, past past June. I figure come June, I'll just go wherever. Uh, you know, wherever the desire takes me at the time, and that's the beauty of it. I know that's the that's the wonderful thing about having a mobile business is that you can literally pick up and go whenever you feel like it, and um, you're not losing money, um, you're not trading time for money, and um, that's that's what's amazing about it. And I'm really excited because um, I too I have a big travel plans. Um, you know, I just announced, uh, we had to tell fr uh, family and friends first, but uh, Chris and I, are uh, we just bought our tickets our, around the world, so uh, we start our adventure June, and we're, we're literally making our way around the entire globe, so we're really excited about that, and that's what I've, my online business has allowed me to do, is, you know, pick up and just take it with, and this has been a dream of ours for a long time. So I'm thank you, Todd. Man. For sharing that. Um, I'm going to hand it back over to Dirk and Muriel for some closing thoughts. We're wrapping up around the hour. Um, personally, I want to thank every one of our guest speakers to sharing their passion, how they've been able to um, how they've been able to use online marketing, blogging, leveraging the internet in order to spend more time in their passion. And so thank you guys so much for, you know, coming on for today's Hangout. I really appreciate it. And we're excited to see more of you in Nashville in a couple weeks here. So uh, Dirk and Muriel, go ahead and uh, take it away for the closing thoughts. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone, for sharing your story. And, of course, we we hope and that everyone who is looking, uh, who watched this Google Hangout, um, have more ideas about how they personally can be able to live their dreams just by plugging into a system that we all using but um, especially stay with yourself tell about what you love and that's actually the main message for tonight that blogging created for all of us our freedom and um, I think there's nothing to add to all the, the the amazing stories of the panel of tonight, and um, yeah. we yeah. well, I, I think for the viewers, I was I was thinking us this afternoon is that, and Amy said it as well, and, uh, and 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 Pavel as well. You have to be real. You have to be yourself. You have to be authentic. And um, I think the feeling of shame of having the fear that you're not having that level of success as uh, other people already have. It's in Stick with yourself, and uh, yeah, your level of success is your success. Don't compare yourself with others because that is that is always I don't know. It's not working. So stick with yourself and uh, go for your dreams. Tell your story. Blog, and um, we love to see you in Nashville, where we all are going to be. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> and, uh, looking forward to make a selfie with all of us. <laughs> we have some pictures to take with all the panels that we had until now on this TWTW live Google Hangout and we're gonna be here to next week again so stay tuned and we hope you follow us and um, the last thing I have one more minute thank you for being with us and uh, if you're interested in what we are doing there's this link below and feel free to click on it and we are going to be here next week and uh, we say goodbye from the Netherlands yeah thanks guys thanks. And, you know follow up with the person that connected with you um, or connected you to this video um, they're gonna be able to answer any questions that you have you, you're more than welcome to connect with any of us so um, thanks guys so much Dirk and Muriel thank you Thanks, guest panel, and uh, we'll see you viewers next week. And you can check out the recording of this um, back at the at the website that you're at right now. So, all right, take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 -bye. Thank you. Thanks.